close. Aha! The world's largest sausage is on the move. Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! at large. Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasha so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> Glorious! Oh, oh. I'll give this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! <laughs> Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, <laughs> which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. <laughs> Dennis! You won't get away with it! Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. <laughs> nice. huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. <laughs> what? Uh, who, who elbows me? <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right. Everything is fine. I don't understand. Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute. This looks like an animal bite. Hmm. An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? <laughs> No, nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Yes. Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <gasps> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swig. 
Swab! <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B-O-G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Underpants. Scramble. Uh oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only bought two pairs. Come on, Piper. Underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record-breaking sausage. Find the missing piece, and we find the culprit. Nasha! Uh, Nasha! Uh -oh. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha, unleash the fleas! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha, got away! Nasha! Nasha! Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper. Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately. Hang on. How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? Okay, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But, but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know. Who <laughs> <laughs> bad curries and did see this? <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! Well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. <laughs> Honestly, all this fuss.
Boss over something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 Nasha could learn a thing or two from that cat. Cat, hat, reporting for bath night duty, sir. <laughs> in supplying vital equipment that deserves a medal, I think. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> Walter! Got a minute! <laughs> Hang on, Nasha! Oh, no! Stop hanging on, Nasha! <laughs> So he needs to be taught proper bath time behaviour. Can you help? I don't know if there's much even I can do for such a smelly, scruffy creature. <laughs> Actually, we'd be delighted to give Nasha grooming tips. Dad, you can't do this to my best mate. You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bath all set up. Oh, I think not. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't that look relaxing? Nash, 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 nash! Please, Dad, I beg you to think of this dig's dignity. Uh, this dog's dignity. I beg you not to reduce him to a barking stock. I beg you to spare him his soapy ordeal. I beg you to stop playing that violin while I'm begging. Sorry, just practicing. Oh, for goodness sake, it's only a bit of soap and water. Nash! 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 Slithery, slimy soap, and do I hate baths? I hate soap and shampoo in my hair. Ugh, my poor, defenceless hair. I, it's so flat. <laughs> Being this clean's not natural. Soon fix that, though. <laughs> 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 Nash, 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 nash. <laughs> With the pitch squirt.
Welchie underfoot, we kick off with a magic, muddy manoeuvre. It's on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasher. <laughs> 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 Need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? <laughs> well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. <laughs> It's like he's turning into a C-A-T. Yeah. A what? A cat pie face. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis. Your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. <laughs> huh? Should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Nash, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Nash. Nash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, reflexes are okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Energy levels are definitely okay. Keep 
your fleas on, Nasha. <laughs> It'll be home time before you know it. Nash, Nash. OK, boys, this lesson's about to get menaced. Uh, hurry up, then! It's about to blow! Uh. <gasps> Cool your eyes, Paul. All of them. So, class, you should now have a beaker of green liquid. Green liquid? What? Green liquid? Uh. Green, not brown, Dennis. <laughs> when Mrs. Creature sees my perfect results, I'll get my fifth gold star this week. You have. Wears a striped jumper. <laughs> it's out of control! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Applause in class, everyone! Evacuate the school! <laughs> what about my gold star? What a result! No school today! <laughs> So fast. Thanks to your little experiment, the whole school has to be fumigated. You will look after Polygon until tomorrow morning. Oh, but Miss... Take good care of Polygon or you'll be cleaning his cage forever. <laughs> Polly! Gone! I've just had a five-star idea. Oh, this pirate really rates his pie. <laughs> Do you get it? Pirate? No? <laughs> yeah. Got her bombs ready, Captain. Time to shiver dance timbers. <laughs> what? Uh, rain? Monsoon? Dennis! <laughs> 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 Captain's parrot, water bombs, or should I say, Walter bombs, away! What? Water bombs away! What? Pirate pet! <laughs> Don't worry, you're still my first mate, Nasha. Tea time, boys! Oh, great! I'm starving! <laughs> what? First mate, Nasha! Look after our new friend. Nash! Gone. Just hear him. How's your parrot impressions? 
What's he done now? Testing Menace Voice Projector. Testing Menace Voice Projector. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, Dennis! Time to squat the squat, Curly. No, no, I, no, I should do it. I'm much more of a bird brain than you. Mrs. Creature's come to check on Polygon, Dennis. I've just covered up the cage to give his eyes a rest. He's fine. He'll tell you himself. Won't you? Oh. <laughs> I said, won't you? I'm fine, Squawk! I'm fine, Squawk! Dennis is the best! See? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I, I like pie bed too, Squawk. Get off. Uh, sorry about that. I, I mean, Squawk! I've taught him some impressions. <laughs> oh, well, I am impressed, Dennis. Can I take a little peek at him? <laughs> Ah! On second thoughts, I just make sure he's back in school tomorrow morning. Ah. Yeah. He's a pie. Nash, 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 nash. Wait, these aren't parrot feathers. They're pillow feathers. Maybe Polygon had a pajama party that got out of control. Yeah, or he got out. But how? Nash, 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 nash! Oh, oh, oh! Nash, nash, nash! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry, Nasha. Sorry. Nash, nash! Team Menace, we got to find that parrot right now. Where would a parrot hang out? Birdseed pie. Guaranteed to attract our feathered friends. Oh, and if he doesn't fancy it... Well done, Pie Face. It's working. Uh, I bet too well. <laughs> What's wrong, Dennis? In a flap about something? <laughs> If I don't find Polygon before tomorrow, Mrs. Creature's going to be a screecher. Dennis, I got a brilliant plan. Really? All is going to be okay. Who's a pretty potato then? I'm a dead man. Let's have a look at him. Yes, Dennis. I can't wait to see what you've got under there. There he is. <gasps> oh, good old Paul. They gone. That's a potato, Dennis. Oh, she's good. Where is Polygon? <laughs> He's right here, miss. Oh, what? My word! You've taught Polygon to be a homing parrot. Excellent work, Dennis. What? Don't thank him. It was me that let him out. Um, uh, uh, uh that is, uh, I mean, um, uh, oh no. Ah, Walter did it. What? Walter did it. Walter, I am taking back all your stars. <gasps> oh no, 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 not my stars. <laughs> And you, Dennis, can take care of Polygon anytime. How about tonight? <laughs> ah, hey, Nasha, I reckon Walter would love something refreshing. Nash, Nash! Polygon? Ah! Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Apply to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. <laughs> we wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers clean school rules is what I was born to do. Yeah, tell him, Walter. Vote for Walter. Vote for Walter. Huh? Oh, Sausage and Mash Monday. Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. One bite for me. <coughs> and one for you. <coughs> You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. Huzzah! <gasps> Lucky me! Stop! Three rules broken in 30 seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey? No hair over ten centimetres, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between one and two on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? Huh. It's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah! Oh. Rule 409, no fart powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule, mate, so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. <laughs> Who hasn't done their homework? <laughs> Hold on a sec. If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Nash, Nash, Nasha! Yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D and G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel my subjects. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. Phew, Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul! A potato? No, 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 Dennis, that is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after a full moon provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday... So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect? Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> <laughs> Vote, Walter! I'm efficient, respectable and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul! Yeah! No bikes in school and any 
candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. Ha! The potato's out! I win! Ha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's gonna be you! Nasha! Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school! Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense! What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> of Beano Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What, six times, five times, four times, three times, two times, one times, zero? Oh, 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 carry the one. Oh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> <laughs> Totally, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Grab those plans. Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. These are plans for cheating to win the election. <gasps> Walter. Ooh. These are not mine. But I caught you red-handed. Literally. And miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. We have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh. Yeah, give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which... Everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. No, <laughs> you horrible hound. <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Beano Town 
the exhibition of brilliant old stuff. Ancient artifacts, ancient weaponry, and ancient dinosaurs. <laughs> what? Who? Ahem, ancient dinosaurs. All brilliant old stuff. Like this, a uh, fridge from ancient Sweden. Actually, Mayor, that's obviously a sarcophagus from ancient Egypt. <laughs> if you'll indulge me. <laughs> oh, indulge Walter? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Uh, as any expert Egyptologist can authenticate, this belongs to fearsome pharaoh Prankenkama. Rather reminiscent of me, really. Supremely intelligent, highly revered, and utterly fearless. Really, Walter? <laughs> A priceless relic, Dennis. This is worth three days' detention at least. <laughs> Spare your scratch. Like a painting Dad's shed and fix that. Maybe, Dennis. But I fear you may have unleashed an evil menace even greater than yourself. A menace worse than me. <laughs> Good one, Walter. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Looking sharp, Sergeant. <laughs> Need milk. <laughs> Little bit of. That's it! Oh, oh. Dennis! Dennis! It's for you. He switched my shampoo! He put cranberry jam in my cup! He meddled with my milk! He pranked my pepper! <laughs> They're all brilliant pranks. Ingenious. And I'd love to take credit, but it wasn't me. Dennis, oh, no, it's no, it's true. Dennis has been with us all morning, trying to prove pigs can fly. <laughs> then, who was it? It could only be the curse of prank and karma. The, the what? According to ancient prophecies, he who disturbs a pharaoh's rest shall invoke a terrible curse. Yes. A curse of bad acting? Bad luck shall afflict the culprit's entire village for all eternity! Sorry, Dennis. Got caught up in the moment. We're all doomed! Uh, someone call the police! Oh, wait, I am the police. Quick, someone call me! Says here, he who disturbs my sleep must cook a sacrificial feast for the great prank and cook. Sacrificial feast, eh, Walter? Delivered here at nightfall. Better do what he says, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis you 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 have to what a nonsense. What a load of potential pranking more like. <laughs> All right, Walter, you're on. If it's a feast you want, it's a feast you'll get. On the menaced up menu tonight, Beef Wellington. Oh, with Wellington boot, Hawaiian pizza. With Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> And Mississippi mud pie. With real mud. Hot <laughs> Walter's hungry. Dinner is served. Diners on the move. Bang on time. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Menace. Walter, what about the curse? Hmm. There's no such thing. I was the mastermind behind the curse of prank and karma. Dennis doesn't humiliate me and get away with it. <laughs> huh. uh, this is disgusting. Nom, nom, nom. Genius. Where's a sky jumper? <laughs> 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 Frankie works up an appetite. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> Wait! Pie face! No! <laughs> Genius wears a bow tie. 
I knew you'd make a disgusting feast, Dennis. Did you really think I'd be fooled? <laughs> <laughs> My tongue tastes like puddle. Right, menaces, game on. Time for us to make the best prank in history. Walter. Walter. Walter! Huh? Oh. It is I, fearsome Pharaoh, Franken Carbo! By meddling with me, you have disturbed my 3,000 year rest and unleashed the curse of the many! What? My face? Oh, sorry. Um, the curse of the many! Frank and Karma died 4,000 years ago. <laughs> nice try, Dennis, but get your fat straight. Good night. <laughs> oh, you can't fool Walter. He's an expert orthodontist. Egyptologist, Pafis. Don't worry, we're not finished yet. Walter, beware the curse of the raiding frog. <laughs> Raining frogs, eh? <gasps> Looks like you've been cursed. Only by you, Dennis. <laughs> Beware the curse hmm. of the locust plague. Huh? <laughs> 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 locusts, eh, Walter? Oh, looks like an ancient curse to me. Buzz <laughs> off, Dennis! <laughs> to spook Walter. What about the curse of the, um... Robot pirate? Uh, no. Kill a potato? Um, not quite. What about the curse of the, uh... Dennis, have you seen my hairdryer? Uh, no, Mum! Aha! Mummy! The curse of the mummy! Yes! Aha! Yes, yes, yes! We need one big roll of toilet paper. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dennis! One ancient dinosaur. <laughs> and one know-it-all next-door neighbour. Really, Mayor? You're appointing me to collect the sarcophagus and take it back to the pyramids? Uh, yay! We need an expert Egyptologist. Well, it would be an honour. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who's there? Dennis? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Walter, old boy. <laughs> Just a, a dusty old relic. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> See? Nothing to fear. My slumber! <laughs> oh, Walter, that mummy is really scary. <laughs> That's the Colonel, Pyface. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant! <laughs> Best prank in history! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
to do that. You both all right? No, Dennis. We've both got... <coughs> we've both got... <coughs> I mean, we've both got... <coughs> That's that eight pay fees. What he's trying to say is that we've both got... <coughs> we've both got... <coughs> both got what? <coughs> oh, Curly. Pay face, didn't you get the letter? The Beano Town cold is so contagious that you must stay home. And you, dog? Yes, you dog! You aren't allowed here. Pieface, curly dog, you must all leave the school grounds this instant. Yeah, I, I think I might be coming down with something. Inside. <sighs> quiet! Quiet, class, quiet! No more chattering, everyone! Quiet! Quiet! Oh, looks like quite a few pupils have the cold. Not I, Mrs Creature. <coughs> I'm perfectly well. Walter, didn't you get the letter? <coughs> I don't have a cold, Mrs Creature. <coughs> I am 100% healthy. <coughs> Class, if James has 37 counters in his left hand and 92 counters in his right hand, how many hands does he have? Walter. Oh, yes, oh, jumping at the shape of the people. See a rainbow. A good try, Walter. Next question. Dennis, what is the square root of a million times the square root of a billion? Uh, is it nine? Oh, hopeless, Dennis. Hopeless. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. Oh. Walter, call me crazy, but I think you may be ill. I'm having your parents pick you up. No, Walter. This could be the best school day ever. <laughs> Just a dessert for my lunch, Bren. How much? Not many children in, so they're free today. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I'll only have 50 of them. Oh, no. Headmaster's orders. One dessert per child. But I'm the only... Strict instructions. Want your dessert, then? Uh, sure. Can I have a spoon? Yeah. Actually, forget the spoon. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, bonjour. I am the French exchange student, Pierre Le Bonbon. La dessert, please. All right, but you only get one. Merci. Hang on. Oh, guten hello. I am German exchange student, Fritz von Munich. A dessert, please say thank you. Uh, are there many kids in that lunch line? Oh, ja, ja. Why don't you take a look? <coughs> yeah, I knew it. You're not getting one over on me. Oh, may have overdone it on dessert. Come on, bowler. <laughs> Great, Batman, hit it. <laughs> At a boy, fielder, catch it. <laughs> Well done for getting him out, Dennis. Marvellous play. <sighs> Dennis, how come you're out already? Awful. Two laps round the field for you. <sighs> well, Dennis, poor Walter had to go home. Yes! Which means for the rest of the day, it's just you and me. No! Only kidding. Phew. Since all the other children have the cold, you're going to spend the rest of the day being taught by all the teachers in the school. At once. What? What's nine times ninety-nine? What's long and sticky? What's the meaning of life? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <a square? laughs> oh, the worst day 
ever, Nasha. Teachers. Teachers everywhere. It's not fair. Why can't I catch a cold like everyone else? <gasps> Actually, I think I can. <laughs> oh, the light. It grows faint. Is that you, Mother? This awful cold. It's so horrible. So painful. And so very, very real. Goodbye, old friend. Dennis. Dennis, could you move away from the door? I have to pick up B. Mum, I have a cold. No, you want out of school, like when you said you had chicken pox. <laughs> Or when you said you were pregnant. Or when you said your arm fell off. Unless you really have a cold like your dad, don't waste my time. Dad has a cold? Yes, and apparently it's very infectious, so keep far, far away from him. Hmm. Hi, Dad! <laughs> oh, calm down, Dad. I'm here to look after you. Bacon sandwich? Oh, lovely, Dennis. How nice of you. Hmm. What's in this sandwich? Bacon, bread, tomato sauce. Oh! <laughs> Hang on. Oops. Water? Right, need a plan B. What does it Gran says? Hey, Dennis, you want to see me get a whole coconut into my mouth? Ow. No, not that. Keep out of the cold and wet or you will catch a cold, I bet. Now, watch me get this coconut into my mouth. <laughs> oh, what, what? Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash! <laughs> what? I'm still fine? Oh, come on! <laughs> so, how will he be? Ah, he's fine. Nothing broken. Oh, are you sure? I definitely felt something snap. Maybe I should stay at home, rest the foot, get my strength back. No, you won't need to miss a day of school. <laughs> what? What kind of a doctor are you? Curly! Hey, Dennis! You OK? No, I'm not. Well, yes, I, I am. I... <sighs> Back to school. Great, cos we're all going to the beach. What? Yeah, as everyone has just gotten over their colds, the teachers thought we should have a day out. Brilliant! I love school! <laughs> this is going to be the best day ever! Ah. Ah. Achoo! Oh, dear. The Beano Town cold. Best get you home. No, no, that sneeze was a fluke. <laughs> so was that one. <laughs> and that one. Mum, I'm well. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> Honestly, Mum, I'm fine. I'm completely. <laughs> oh, Jenny. 